Welcome back. We're here at the Laugh Factory, where we do our weekly show called Bursky Tonight with my co-host, James Harris. It's still called Bursky Tonight. You get no billing, but we've discussed that. But, you know, eventually. Been, the, well, when you do the many Tonight shows of I ha- as I have and the television and the credits, then I'll call it Bursky Tonight with James Harris. Like that. Okay. I wanted to call him Tonto, but he really Tonto. fought me on that one. I did. But we have a special guest that I've been telling you about. You've been telling me. Okay, and I'm going to admit this to the whole world, that I, I, I wear a hairpiece. This is now you know, what people will call a rug or a, a, a toupee. They're actually called hair replacement systems. It's a system. It's a, the unit is on, but it's called the hair replacement system. And I'm, I'm admitting because this man really, I got to tell you, I didn't start losing my hair. Now I'm 53. I didn't start losing my hair until my late 30s. And I'm the only one in my family with hair loss, not my brother. My father, God rest his soul, when he was dying with cancer, after, one week after chemotherapy, his hair was growing back and I was losing mine. But I want you to meet a man who's really changed my life with this thing, Richard sure. Farrell from Farrell Hair. Let's give a hand for Richard. All right, Richard. Richard, James, nice to see you. Good to see you, Richard. That's Hello. James. And James. Well, hello. <laughs> uh, but by the way, you'll see that James is. How old are you, James? Give him the. Uh, if, I am uh, 30. 30. All right. So. James, I, I got to tell you right now, you're a candidate. You should come and see me before this gets worse. Seriously, yes. Then if you're 30, you're going to. The problem is over. But instead of me being so bold, maybe you should <laughs> listen a little bit and decide whether you'd really want to do such a thing. I got to tell you, I got to tell everybody, um, it was really, really, you know, traumatic. And it wasn't like, you know, I'm, I'm a comedian, so it wasn't like, you know, I wasn't going out for those Brad Pitt roles anymore. But it was still really, I, I mean, I don't know how to explain it. It really is, well, in three more years, you'll, you'll, you'll tell me how it feels. I mean, I, re- I really am a candidate. You mean you're saying I really do need... Look, he's freaking yes, out. Yes, you really are a candidate, yes. <laughs> some, some people I say, wait 10 years. But in your situation, you should see me. Tomorrow, I should see you tomorrow. Manana is a good day. Well, uh, Richard, uh, I got to tell you, you know, it was really like, you know, I never... I mean, I was wearing baseball caps all the time, unless I had to go out to a function. And, and even then, I was you, you would feel self-conscious talking to women. And it really, it really changed my life. And the great thing about it is people who know me without this, uh, when I was wearing this, they were saying how great it looks. And, you know, they would, you look, other comedians, as you know, would say, what's with the toaster on your head? People were going, oh, my God, that is great. And I did a cut in with, with Richard. And, and you brought some clips of me getting how this works. And, and I wanted to show everybody what this was like and how much hair I didn't have and what it looks like. Because people always say... I can always tell. And I said, no, you can only tell the bad ones. Well, actually, uh, you're a good example of what really happens when someone gets their hair back because uh, I can see it really gave you your life back. I see a major <laughs> difference in uh, how you are and things. And, uh, and actually, this is very bold and brave of you to come out in public like this because most entertainers <laughs> and people in this industry keep it under their hat. Well, yeah, under their hat. But they you do. can't wear those hats in five-star well, restaurants and things like this, well, you, and, can't. you know, so away with the hats. No, it, it always amazes me that, that, you know, people, you know, it's a simple solution. And it's really the only solution because I even checked into the, you know, the transplants. And that's really, um, I don't know how to explain it. They really have some sort of a fallacy going there because they only show you the guy's front of his hairline. If they show you guys who are slick bald and they show you them with the front head of hair. What they don't show you is, is the back. And they cannot give you back a full head of hair. They will give you the front, but if you're slick bald, you don't get your hair back. And if you look at the commercial, they never show you the guy turned around. So really, this is the only solution for a full that, head of hair. That's correct. It's the only way uh, a person can get all their hair back. And, you know, um, it's, you know, some people think it's going out and buying a wig or a hair piece, as you said. Uh, but really, this is hair replacement. We put, we duplicate everything that nature should have given you. I mean, the crown in the right place, the gravity splits, the right shaped hairline, hair follicles that look like they're growing out from the skin, materials that disappear on the skin. It truly is hair replacement. Instead of all the pain of surgery, which doesn't work, you get a thin look, the chemicals and everything, right. as you stated, that uh, don't work. Right. But anyway, I'm thankful you came out, and out uh, I'm th- 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 <laughs> thankful that myself. I'm here. You're outed. Yeah. But, but, you know, people ask me, you know, it was like, you know, again, you know, you see people with bad 
hair pieces. And again, you know, you, you, they're going to these stores for 200 bucks or 300 bucks, and they're getting something that just is cut onto their head, and that's what it looks like. It looks like, I mean, you might as well just keep a baseball cap on. And I have to, I got, I got, I got to tell you this. People say, have been saying to me lately, what does it feel like? And I got to say, you don't feel it. And you could, you could leave it on for a day or three or four days. You could swim. You could shower. And this isn't you know, going anywhere. You could take a look. And we'll watch the clip. And yeah, you, the you, clip is on the website, actually. But, um, uh, yes, this, this you live in. You know, things that you feel are things that move. Okay? A sloppy shirt. Um, a wig. If we're right. talking about hair, because it moves. Uh, women have to take their wigs off at night. You, you know, 60% of our clients are women. Wow. We have a huge I, female no, clientele. I did not know that. Yeah, and uh, everyone just goes on with their life because since nothing shifts or moves, you, you don't feel it there. You just don't feel it. No, no, this is not, you know, I know people who've had it like sewn to their hair or glued to their hair. And as their hair grows in, they got to get it redone or whatever. No, this is, this, you don't feel it. All I can right, say right, is right. watch, watch the clips. Right. So are you going to be um, slamming hair systems now on stage? No, no, I won't be, I won't be doing that, but I don't do any hair material. I just, I, I just said it wasn't so much being bald as long as I wasn't one of the comb over guys. That I thought my life would have ended then. But I just want to thank Richard Farrell well, from Farrell Hair. And I appreciate being here. Thank, thank you very you, much, guys. Thanks.